All right, what's up? I am recording this in the parking garage of my school. So, you know, any sounds that uh, are weird, that's probably why. So this is the kind of like the first day of me just trying to go back to push-pull legs. Or in this case, um, I think I'll do pull-push legs. Um, so uh, I'll put up, you know, I'll have the, the thing on screen in the, uh, the beginning of the video of how I worked out or what I did. Uh, so I'm using the fat grips for my pull-ups, and one thing is that it's not exactly hindering my ability to do the pull-ups, so my back is still very much a limiting factor, and that kind of just tells me like how strong my grip is, or how just well secured my grip is, and uh, because at first it used to be a struggle, I, I couldn't even hold myself for like three reps doing um, you know pull-ups with those blue fat grips, and those are like the thickest ones that I have. Another factor could also just be uh, me losing weight. Um, I am doing Ramadan. I'm, I'm, of course, losing weight. I'm probably leaning out a little bit. Uh, last time I checked, I'm around 177, uh, possibly 178. So I am at a much lighter body weight than when I uh, you know, was first doing these fat grip things. When I first, first did them, I was like at around a weight of like 187, 190. Uh, but again, still, still very much challenges my grip. I still very much feel like my forearm flexors and my forearm extensors um, after, you know, completing just a set of pull-ups. And I think it's a great way just to, like, work your grip strength and, like, your forearms without having to exactly, like, do any extra work, like, you know, isolating them. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's really it for the pull-ups. Um, of course, I made sure to retract my back and try and get, like, a chest-to-bar position. Of course, with like the fat grips kind of adding like a, a separate layer or a second layer, I wasn't able to get my chest all the way to the bar, but I was able to get it like pretty close to the bar in general. Uh, so here I did L-sit chin, L -sit chin ups. I haven't done L-sit chin ups in a good minute um, because I've just been doing normal chin ups. Um, but again, it's a great exercise. It's going to stretch out your lats a lot more. And here I'm doing it with a close grip. So. I'm also getting my biceps worked. Um, and the, the straighter your legs are, the more challenging it is. Uh, you know, if you're trying to get into doing L-sit pull-ups or chin-ups, uh, you want to start with just having your knees raised. And then, you know, you slowly kind of start to extend your legs out more and more in order to just get that, um, you know, just, just to get that core working. Uh, and then, of course you're going to have your lats stretched at the bottom. So a lot of people say that doing L-sit pull-ups are good for your lower lats, which is going to be good for just really shaping out your back in general. I also found that uh, the chin-ups, they're not as challenging. The L-sit chin-ups, they're not as challenging as they were before. Um, when I was like, you know, doing them pretty often on any pull days that I would have when I would program before. Um, they like be an exercise I would have to psych up for. Now, not saying I, I didn't psych up for this, but it just wasn't as difficult as it used to be. And again, that just kind of shows me like, you know, where my strength is, uh, you know, just how much I've come in. And, and this is like, you can, if you can, if you go back some videos where I'm doing LC chimps consistently, you'll see like, you know, probably the difference of like my control and just how well I'm able to execute the movement. Um, and just, you know, how fatigued I get because like LC L-sit chin-ups would, like, destroy my lats. Like, if I were to do L-sit chin-ups before I did my pull-ups, I couldn't do pull-ups, right, because my lats were just completely fried. And, it, you know, it's just interesting because, like, that's a it's a body weight exercise. And, you know, again, people say, oh, they're not intense enough, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, dude, it's like, L-sit chin-ups, bro, will, will challenge you like crazy, especially if you have big legs, right? I have pretty big legs, long legs as well. So it's like to have that sh intense stretch on my lats and then to have my core working at the same time and then I have to pull all of that, like, you know, pull my body weight is going to be much harder than, of course, just doing like a regular chin up or something like that. And again, so like, you know, never say that your body weight is, um, you know, is inadequate or you need to start lifting weights, whatever. It's like, well, at the same time, you can just challenge your leverages by changing up your leverages in many different ways in order to get um, just better stimulus and fatigue with like the same, like literally the same like five exercises when you think about it. All right, so later in the session, I did face pulls. Um, I have not done them in a while. When I did these, 
I felt them like almost directly in my rear delts, which is, you know, where you're supposed to feel them. Um, you know, I'm doing this just for rotator cuff health. I did have like a weird feeling in my shoulder um, yesterday and today when I was doing pulling movements. So, you know, I'm just doing these just for the sake of my shoulder health. I'm not sure if it was a rotator cuff issue. I wasn't having any pain or anything like that. It was just a weird like tightness or tension. So maybe I just need a stretch or something like that. But as of right now, the way the way things are, my shoulder doesn't feel fine. I, I'm even just moving it around right now. So, you know, but of course, if you want to get jack shoulders, strong shoulders, healthy shoulders, you should definitely do uh, these face pulls. It should be like, you know, or some type of rear delt exercise if you just want to have healthy shoulders in general. Um, and then again, like if you want that 3D effect, go ahead and do your face pulls, right? You know, if you don't have any rings, you can take like a towel or you can take a resistance band and then you can kind of like pull towards your face or whatever. Or if you had go to the gym and use cables, you know, you can pull towards your face in like a like a like a cross position, I don't know, but you can just look up face pulls or whatever. All right, so at the end of my workout, two sets barbell curls with fat grips. I don't know why, but I just wanted to do barbell curls. I could have easily just done like ring curls or pelican curls, but I just wanted to do barbell curls. I haven't done them in a while, you know, and it's not going to take away from my body weight training because like what I'll do barbell curls every blue moon. So it's like, you know, if anybody's in like, hey, you're lifting weights. I thought you were daily calisthenics. You know, it's it's really whatever. Um, and me thinking like that, too, is probably just in my head. Like, I bet no one's really thinking like that. Um, but yeah, so I did barber curls. They felt very like I'd say they felt weird because it's like my elbows are kind of stuck in place. When I'm doing chin ups, when I'm doing ring curls, pelican curls, my elbows kind of have the freedom of movement, same with my shoulders uh, to, to a certain degree. But here it's like you're just stuck on a certain path. And it was just so just so interesting just doing this movement again. And well, yeah, that's that's really the whole workout. I did tell myself, you can see a timer in the background. The whole thing took about 41 minutes or so, or 42 minutes. And that's including with like me warming up and moving around equipment. But yeah, that's the whole entire workout. See you guys in the next video.